everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today let's make a Trader Joe's chimichurri rice and add some chicken into it to make a simple weeknight dinner. If you guys want to know how to make this, hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. Pretty much everything you need is inside the package itself, so we're just going to add a few more things to make this a full rounded meal. I am adding a little bit more veggies than what comes in the package because I feel like it just gives more flavor. So we're just going to use one third of an onion, it's like a medium sized onion and we're going to dice this up into smaller pieces mainly because my kids aren't going to eat these long pieces of onions and so they, if it's smaller, you know, it just works. It, they don't even know when they're taking the bite of it because there's so much flavor in this rice packet itself. But you can cut these up however you'd like it, whatever satisfies your family, your palate. If you don't even want onions in there, you can omit this as well. It's not necessary, but I feel like it does help with more flavor. The package also does come with tomatoes in there that's frozen, but I feel like those tomatoes are a little bit too small or more skin instead of like chunks of tomatoes. And I like to taste the flavors of like the stewed chunky tomato type. So again, just dice these up into whatever sizes that pleases you. For more protein, I decided to add, this is about a good pound of a chicken thigh. It's a large chicken thigh, but use chicken breast, chicken thigh, whatever it is that you want. I needed to defrost mine for about a good six minutes before it was ready to be cubed. So again, cut these to whatever size that you like. I like to make them into like a small, medium-ish kind of chunk so that we can see the chicken and taste it with our rice as we eat it. The package itself gives really simple instructions. If you go with one package, I am doubling this recipe, but if you go with one package, it just says to use a tablespoon of oil with two tablespoons of water. But since I'm doubling this, I've got about two tablespoons of oil in there. I like to have a bit more of a garlic flavor inside of my dish. If you want it to be less garlicky, I would only use like one or two minced garlics. This is probably a good three to four pureed size kind of garlic. So whatever you prefer. Again, if you don't like garlic, omit it. If you do, use it. But once your skillet is nicely heated up with your garlic in there that's been sauteing for a few minutes, throw your chicken in there. We're going to cook this chicken pretty much till it's all the way cooked through. The chicken itself probably took a good seven to eight minutes to cook through all the way. Well, not all the way, but pretty much all the way. It'll be a very light pink because it's going to continue cooking when we continue adding other ingredients inside of our pot. But if you notice with my chicken and my pureed garlic, it kind of sticks to the chicken. So every bite of chicken has a good garlic flavor to it. So just saute this for a while and let it cook through until it's almost done being pink. And that's it for the chicken. And just so you know, you don't have to use chicken. You can use whatever meat preference it is that you like. It works well with beef as well. I have not tried it with pork, but shrimp also works in this dish as well. And I don't know if there's a Trader Joe's near you, but if there is, this is what it is. It's the Peruvian style chimichurri rice with vegetables in the frozen section. This is just one of those really simple, easy, less than 20 minutes if you double the package like I am, weeknight meals for those busy families. It's just easy, it's delicious, it's filling. We all love it and it works out great every single time. All right, now that our chicken has been cooking and you can see it's mostly cooked by now, we're gonna add our diced onions and our diced uh, tomatoes right into the pot. And we're just gonna stir this around and we're gonna let this cook for a good three to four minutes or so because we wanna soften our tomatoes up. All of this will continue to cook because we gotta add our rice into this and cover it up with a lid. And while that's cooking, everything will still soften up in there and cook through. But this is how we want it for now. After we've stirred it around and let it sit there for a few minutes, go ahead and grab your frozen packages of the rice and throw it right into the pot. The beauty about these packages is that you don't need to defrost them. You can just throw the frozen pack right into your pot and it's gonna all cook beautifully together. Nothing's gonna burn, nothing's gonna stick to your pot. That's what's so amazing about this whole entire thing. It's gonna come out with a nice flavor. Again, I mean, if you like a good strong flavor, this is it. I like the good, bold flavor type of meals because I like to have the flavor. Can I say flavor anymore? But again, it's really delicious. My kids love it. My husband loves it. Everybody loves it. It's a win-win every single time. 
So what I'm doing, again, the package says four to five minutes, but since I doubled it, it's probably gonna take me about 10 minutes to cook this whole entire thing. I'm gonna go wash my dishes and let it sit there and let it do its thing. It was about a good four to five minutes and I am coming back and I'm just gonna stir this up, break up whatever I can, but it's pretty frozen, so it's gonna be pretty hard to do so. So give it time, just stir up what you can, break up if you can any parts of this as well. And then just cover it up with a lid and let it do its own thing on its own. You don't have to do anything else. That's what's so great about this. You just have to keep your eye on the stove for a few minutes and dinner is basically done for you. So we're just gonna stir it around a little bit longer and then we're gonna put the lid right back on top and check up on it and again in like another two or three minutes or so. It's been a few minutes. I went ahead and checked up on my rice and you can see I can stir it around and I can start to break up a little bit of the pieces. And this is it, you guys. A total of 10 minutes with the lid on, letting it do its own thing and dinner is basically done for you. Look how beautiful all of this looks. All the colors, you've got your carbs, you got your protein, you got your veggies in there. It's all delicious, it's all amazing and you guys will love this. I mean, seriously, it's just so easy. You can taste the rice to see if it's heated up enough for you. If, if it's still frozen, obviously let it cook there for a little bit longer. But all you have to do is just serve it and that's it. If you want to, you can add some cilantro on top just to sprinkle some garnish on there. I don't think it needs any of that because there's so much goodness into this whole entire dish. If you guys like this recipe, please hit that subscribe button, the notification bell, share this, and until the next meal, thank you for watching. Watch me cook.